what you want in three, two, one, go. What's a habit you have that would horrify book talk? I dog ear pages all the time. I can show you. Currently reading uh, 38 books. <laughs> I break the spines on the print books. Ew. I will get to the third book in a series. Like I'll have put all that effort in, in a trilogy, a finished trilogy. I'm so close to the end and then just put it down for no valid reason. I'll just stop and I'll never know how it ends. Are these popular book tag books worth it? Part 14. Love, love, love her books. All so spicy and her characters are a chef's kiss. This one enemies to lovers. Nash plus a little white dog. Swooning, I love the broody wounded hero type in a small town. The first book was great and so were the second and third a trilogy worth staying for. It's cute, and you can read it in a day but I wouldn't run to get it. I did a reread on audio and must say, best idea book I've ever listened to it made me like the book more so did Sam Claflin as Billy. Wait, I'm actually asking. What can be spicier than this? As a spicy bookstore owner, I thought I was reasonably qualified to answer this question. But for those of you who got into Akatar, loved Akatar, it's what got you into reading, or it was your first spicy book, I have a rec for you. Dark Court Rising series by Beck McMaster. This is a complete series. There is three books and a novella. The novella's in the middle here. I don't have the last book. However, I do have a pile of the first ones. It is definitely adult. It is definitely Akatar vibes. And she's definitely steamier. Oh, bonus for my Aussies out there. Beck McMaster is an Australian author, so even better. Why did no one fucking warn me about this book before I picked it up? We were supposed to be friends. Someone on TikTok recommended me this shit and they said this is an amazing book. Don't get me wrong, this is the best book I've ever read in my life. You should read it. But absolutely no one in their right mind should ever read this book. This is the best book I've ever read. This is the worst book I've ever read. Last night, I was laying in bed I was going to read lightly for 30 minutes. I was like a fourth of the way in. I'd already cried six times. I tried to keep a cry chart for this book. I had to give up because I hit 14 and then realized I couldn't write the 15th one down because I just didn't stop crying for 64 pages. So I don't know if that counts as one cry. Or if that just counts as a continuous. I did the math. I think I've cried for 18% of this entire book. I'm not even done. I'm currently on page 523. And this book has 811 pages. So I don't know whose bright idea it was to give me this. You're a psycho. I'm mad at you. This is the best book I've ever read. This is the worst book I've ever read. Everyone should read this book. No one should read this book. I hate whoever recommended me this book. I love whoever recommended me this book. And I'm over it already. So, thank you. I have read almost every single book written by Colleen Hoover. So I thought it'd be fun to rank them from worst to best and telling you guys what I thought. There are a couple books that are left off this list. Some I do plan to read, some I know I'm not gonna read. The main one that's not on this list is Hopeless and I do plan on reading that. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna read any of the ones she has out already. Just a little disclaimer, I know there are some controversial opinions about Colleen Hoover. This video is not about her. This is just about what I thought about the books. There are 12 books sitting here and coming dead last in 12th place is Maybe Someday. I read this one after I read most of the others and honestly, I just didn't like it. It was pretty boring to me and it felt like a very slow paced story. 
coming in 11th place is without merit this one just so many things about it felt out of pocket i don't know really wasn't a huge fan of this one either it wasn't terrible but it wasn't good a lot of people are gonna be mad about this next one 10th place is ugly love don't get me wrong it was still good i read this book in one sitting but honestly just compared to her others i didn't like it as much i know this is like a fan favorite of everyone's but to me the characters were just so boring i don't know that's my unpopular opinion ninth place was it starts with us also unpopular opinion i enjoyed this more than i think most people did as a standalone book yes it wouldn't be very good but considering all the setup we had in the first book i thought this was a pretty good follow-up sequel book next place we have all your perfects and i know it's somehow connected to hopeless and there's like a bunch of little novellas i'm not gonna read the novellas so maybe i would have enjoyed it better if i'd read hopeless first because i always hear people say you should do that it also could just be because i have like no understanding of what they're going through in this book but i don't know it just felt a little bit depressing to me and very i don't want to say boring but kind of boring i did still enjoy it though and i liked the characters next we have my most recent colleen hoover read confess again it wasn't great it wasn't terrible i liked it but there was just others i liked a lot more than this one still have my top seven left sitting over here but i'm gonna have to make a part two to go through all those bye guys these are my top fantasy romance book recommendations i guarantee you will fly through all of these and just fall in love with the romance in these books once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber this is probably my favorite fantasy romance of the year that i've read it is slow burn enemies to lovers jacks in this book if you know you know Stephanie Garbo writes such a magical, immersive, fairy tale like land that just makes the romance that much more magical and beautiful, I feel like is the best way to put it. A Winter's Promise by Christelle DeBeau. I always recommend this book if you liked Once Upon a Broken Heart. It is, again, slow burn enemies to lovers. Slow burn like no other fantasy book I have ever read. Again, the world building in this is just so magical and it really adds to the romance in this book so if you're looking for a unique fantasy romance i definitely recommend the Mis mirror visitor series it is such an incredible series the last hours series by cassandra clare this is actually my favorite series by cassandra clare the romance in this is unlike anything else it is friends to lovers but lots of kind of complications not allowing them to be together <laughs> It will literally have you on the edge of your seat this entire series. This is actually the last book. Um, there's two more before this. I just flew through these books. If you're looking for kind of a very light fantasy romance, but that's going to keep you very, very much engaged, I definitely go for Sandra Clare's books. They're always very lighthearted, but kind of just very addictive. <laughs> I feel like I can't do this genre without mentioning The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. The fantasy romance in this has been compared a lot to the romance in the Akatar series by Sarah J Maas. So if you liked that, I guarantee you, you will like this book if you've not read it already. I also really liked that our protagonist Violet is quite different to typical fantasy characters that I often read about. It's more kind of realistic and I feel like I can relate to the romance a lot more if that makes sense. She also has a chronic illness, Violet does, our protagonist, um, and I feel like I really really enjoyed that representation as I also struggle with chronic illness, so I very much recommend this book.
lonely I just wanna fuck in the dark lane